I'm in an echoey bathroom. It's nighttime. Whatever. I've been running around all day today and I'm going to be gone this weekend so this is like my only time slot to film a video for this week and I'm dedicated to the game. <laughs> so tonight I am filming a how to teach your horse to smile video. So there are a few things to address first. I'll be using these bad boys. Carrots. And I already have two horses that know how to smile and currently do not have access to a horse that does not know how to smile because they're not in the barn and that's the only well-lit area around here. Some things to consider. Is your horse a little grabby with treats? Does he mug you for treats? If so, you might be better off using protective contact, so like training it over a stall door or over a fence. The reason for this is you don't want to be in a situation that could be potentially dangerous for you or for your horse or to put you in a situation where you might have to reprimand the horse to protect yourself. I highly recommend checking out, I have plenty of videos all over my channel on how to teach the head away behavior and uh, I have a playlist on my channel called equine training with positive reinforcement for the rules of the game or getting started with clicker training both of those videos will teach you how to ask your horse to move his head away from you in order to get a treat so that teaches an incompatible behavior to the horse in layman's terms if your horse is mugging you for treats and you give him one he's going to continue doing that because you've told him that that's how he gets treats why would he do it any differently So my recommendation would be teaching the head away behavior, only reinforcing when the horse's head is not in your body space so that he learns, oh, if I move my head over here, she'll give me a treat. Like for Zoe, if I cue for something, back up, walk forward or whatever, she still knows to move her head away from me and not be in my space. Terrified. Anyway, so teaching the smile. Now that the like little preparations are out of the way, when you teach smile, it's nice to have protective contact regardless because you can kind of have the horse reach for the treat. You don't want to create frustration at all, but you can like tickle the horse's nose and if they wiggle their nose at all, you give them a click to mark that was the exact behavior that you wanted and then you give them a treat. So I use clicker or a sound like a and my horses are already well introduced to this sound. They understand, oh, that was the behavior, that was it. So I'm not fumbling trying to give them a treat at the exact moment that they've done it. I feel like a lot of people teach this behavior without a clicker, but this helps keep a clear stream of communication with the horse marking exactly what was right. So then you get like a little wiggle, the horse lifts its lip, maybe a smidge, click treat, then gradually start asking or just waiting a beat and they might try a little harder, try something different. And then if they lift their lip higher or differently, click for that and then keep encouraging them to try new things and lift it and the cue I use is this because I normally tickle their muzzle and lift my finger then they lift their lip. So I'll take you guys to the horses now and show you that little trick in action and I'll work on it with Mac a little bit since he's still a little green to it. He kind of just goes it's not what we want. Now I have to go out into the scary world. All alone. I think I might have woken somebody up. Hello. <laughs> It's like, what are you doing? It is so late o'clock. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my camera down. Okay. So you'll see Zoe's finished product. Smile. Come on. Good girl. And you hear me mark exactly when she puts it up to the height duration that I like. And we've worked on this a lot, so I can be a little bit picky with her. You smile. Good girl. Yes, ma'am. And you notice how she's not all over me, nudging me, bumping me, asking for a treat, and even offering a head away. Smile. Good girl. It's very easy to train them to not be all over you. I don't know if you guys noticed, but she just moved her head away when she was in my space, which I love. So nice. Just like that. Good girl. And that's how you teach your horse also to not be all up in your space. Some call it rules of the game. Some call it grown-ups. It's a very nice behavior to teach. Good job. Uh, and last night we also worked on stand. Let's see how much you remember, kiddo. Stand. Good girl. Perfect. Stand. Good job. So I, with that behavior, I started just by waiting until she was still and then gradually introduced a cue after I reinforced pretty heavily for her giving the right response by staying still. Stand. Good girl. Stand. Good 
Good job. And I clicked right before she moved, so we're good. Good job. Stand. Can you see her correct herself? She said I moved a little bit, then I remembered maybe don't. Stand. Perfect. Perfect. Do you also have a back? Good girl. Walk on. Her back. Good girl. And she's never all over me for treats. I love it. Walk on. Walk on. And then last, smile. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and work with her for a little bit, and then I'll show you guys Mac. Okay. Hi, Ms. Macadoodle. Biggest, handsomest man. So, with <laughs> Max smile, come back. Good boy. So, with him, he knows the cue. Smile. <laughs> Good boy. I grilled him for efforts. We're working to get closer. It's cute as can be, though, yeah? You smile? So goofy with it. Oh, what's out there? Oh, it's dark at nighttime. I don't like it. Can you smile. <laughs> you too cute, love this. Oh, you take a poop. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful on teaching your horse to smile. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next, what you're interested in, and I'll do my best to uh, help you out. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.